Hey everybody, it's teacher Amy here and I just wanted to do a quick video on how I prep for my classes the night before. I have classes in the morning that I needed to prep for anyway and since I have some people asking what is your prep process like, I thought I would just go ahead and screen record so that you guys can see exactly what I do every night. Um, I use Google Slides and Cam Twist in every class that I teach, so obviously I use those two things when I'm prepping, but I also use the Google Slides Planner, and that is the magical tool that makes everything go super fast. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the planner itself, and when you open it, it's going to look like this, and this is the most up-to-date planner right now. It's version 5. It is um, updated as of August 9th. 2018 when I am making this video. I'm going to go down to the yellow tab down here, which is the input my schedule one, and I'm going to open the portal. And I only have four classes in the morning, so I'm just going to scroll down to highlight everything that is in those four classes, copy it, move back over to the planner, paste it into those cells, and then I like to sort this column. A to Z so that they go in chronological order instead of upside down, which is how VIP Kit does it. I don't know why. Um, okay, and then when I go to the green tab, which is the planner, you'll see here that it is giving me auto populating the uh, lesson slides that we have available for the lessons that I'm going to teach tomorrow. Now the rewards tab is empty because I need to fill that in. So I'm going to go over to the blue tab down here, which is all rewards. And the thing I just closed up there, I just hit control or command F and it brings up this little um, search box that you can use to search for whatever rewards you want to use for your students. Now I've gone through and decided which rewards I'm going to use for my students already, so this part is going to go quickly for me. It might take a little bit more time for you if you're not sure which rewards you want to use. But I'm going to go here to the student section at the top and I'm going to choose my first student, which is Iris. And for Iris, I am going to use the Animal Fails FAS. And if you if you put a keyword in there like rabbit, you can hit the little down arrow and it'll search through all the different rabbit rewards that we have. But this one I'm just going to use the number four here. Copy, go up here, paste it. I'm going to do the same thing. Owen, I'm going to use the color hunt reward. Same thing, copy and paste. My prep is a lot of copying and pasting, um, but it goes quickly. Tom, I'm going to use pizza and pets, copy, paste. Lulu, I'm going to do a Paw Patrol puzzle. And so you'll see down here, you'll, you'll be able to see the type of rewards down here on the blue column. So if I just keep clicking through until it's on the puzzle one, then I can find that one easily. And again, copy and paste. So when I go back to my planner now, the rewards column is filled out. So now that that's done, I'm just going to minimize this and minimize the portal because I don't need either one of those anymore. I am going to bring up my blank slides. Now, if you are a Cam Twist user and you have not yet seen my video on the uh, Cam Twist prep time saver, you're going to want to stop right here and go watch that video. It's going to show you how to set up these blank slides that I have on my screen right now that will allow you to save your picture in picture setups so that you don't have to redo them every morning. So clearly these have been saved. I actually just minimize these windows every day and reuse them um, when I'm prepping for class. So I have to have the blank slide up so that it will recognize it in Cam Twist. So I'm going to open a new window and I have a shortcut here to the planner. So I'm going to open the planner and I'll move this up a little bit. I'm not going to resize the window because that would mess with my picture in picture, but I'm going to, um, I'm just going to move it up so I can see what's going on. I'm going to use the planner tab for this part. And when I do rewards, I'll use the reward tab. So right here on the lesson props, I'm just going to open all of these tabs and put them into presenter view. So this part is a little tedious, I apologize, but it needs to get done. So I open every, um, every link that it has here. Some of them have a couple of options. I would normally open them up and see which one I like best, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna open the first one that comes up. But I open every link and I just put the link into presenter view. And that way, all of my lesson props are in tabs so that when I'm finished with a lesson, all I have to do is close the tab and then the next lesson is right there and ready for me. 
Sorry, this part's kind of boring. Okay, so there's all my lessons. I would probably go through and get them all set on the first slide. So I don't have to worry about that. Whoops. And ready to go. So they are tabbed, all set. My, my lesson props are prepped. Now I'm gonna do the very same thing with the rewards. The only difference is when I open the planner this time, and it's always gonna tell me that this window is too small, which I know. <laughs> so this time I'm in the rewards tab, so I'm just going to use this top section here and open all of those rewards in tabs as well. Again, sorry, this part's boring. We put them all into presenter view so they will be ready to go. And um, this is all the prep that I would do the night before. So once these are all tabbed and ready to go, I would just leave them on the screen and go to bed. Um, but in the morning is when I would open Cam Twist and get that all set. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, so these rewards are all set and ready to be used in class. You wanna make sure that they're on the blank slides when you get started. So I would just leave these here and then I would just go to bed. So in the morning when I wake up, I would have the portal closed because you wanna have Cam Twist open first so that it doesn't mess with anything in the classroom. And I would open my daily set, which is saved to the picture in picture windows that I have at the bottom of the screen here. And as long as I have those blank slides up showing first, then my lessons and my rewards will show. And whatever I put into these tabs after that will show up in those boxes on my screen. That's it. The only other thing that I would do to prep for class is just to open the materials, the PPT for the classes, and just kind of flip through the slides. I'm not a new teacher anymore. I've been doing this for seven months, so um, I'm pretty familiar with the lessons and kind of the flow of the lessons and so forth, so I don't feel like I need to spend a whole lot of time looking through the PPT. I usually just do it right before class. I get up about a half an hour before my classes start, and I just kind of flip through that really quickly. If you're a newer teacher, you might want to spend a little bit more time on that kind of stuff, but um, I just do it quickly. So this is the bulk of my, my of my preparation time right here. I also use Airtable, um, which I don't really use it so much for prepping, um, but it is a it's it's basically a giant spreadsheet where you can keep track of all different kinds of things about your students. Um, you can keep track of their likes and dislikes, what rewards you've used with them in the past, what Apple rating they have given you, um, the parents' feedback, and so forth. Uh, there is a Facebook page for that. I will link to it in the comments or in the description below um, for VIP Kid Teacher Airtable. It is a fantastic resource. I don't use nearly all of the capabilities that it has. I use like a very tiny little minuscule amount of them, but it is available to you and it is um, a fantastic program that I do use, um, but I, I really only use it to keep track of what rewards I've used with the students in the past. And um, that's, I didn't really need to go into that too much in, in my prep video, but if you are prepping with Cam Twist and Google Slides, this is what you need to do and it's really simple. I don't know how long that took, but it was probably less than 10 minutes. So um, I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please comment below and let me know. And happy teaching, everyone.